Central Plateau Contest. Our goal here is just to get established. There's a bit of wind. These climbs should, this should work all right. Look at all these other gliders I've got to help. Uh, we've been slowed down a bit by this band of high clouds, so we've been waiting for that to uh, just move over us. And it's starting to let some more sun through now, and things are improving. Feels all right. Woo! There's that convergence that was forecast today over on the Kaimanawas over there. That looks amazing. Yep, we're not under the clouds. Let's go further under it. Alright, well the gate's just opened. We managed to nearly get up to cloud base. It's only two and a half thousand foot cloud base above the ground, or a little bit more than that. So it's going to be quite a gentle day. I'm not going to be going too fast. Don't have any water on. We'll try and just stay high. There's some good clouds on track for our first leg, so that's good. But we'll head over to the start very shortly and get going. It's already 2.30 in the afternoon. It's a two-hour task, so it's not a big day. But at the same time, that when thermals are weak like they are, we're not going to have a long day. It's going to end early, so not mucking around. All right, we've started the task. See what happens. This, this looks like a decent line of clouds under here. Hopefully the cloud base goes up a bit as we get over the forest. We're just going to be maintaining our height as much as we can. So I'll be stopping for climbs that wouldn't, wouldn't really be worth stopping in normally. It's a bit of a shelf here. I might try beside this. See what we get. Oh, there's some lift. Oh, well, that's a good start. We'll come underneath these clouds and uh, see how we go. I got a bit low there, just a little bit. 2,000 feet above the ground. Managed to find a fire that's kicking off a good thermal. So I'm just climbing in that. And then uh, the goal today, stay up at cloud base. We've got some big gaps to get through, I think, coming up. It's looking a bit sparse to get back over the other side. I can smell the smoke, so I know I'm in the thermal. 2.7 knots average. All right, cloud base is lower over here, so we'll just continue along here. I think we'll climb as we go under these clouds. We're trying to head this way. Yeah, or even that way a bit more, but I'm gonna go under the dark clouds. It's uh, always the best option. There's blue out to the right there, so it's kind of like do you go along the scrappy clouds on the edge of the blue or the big black dark line there? I think it's obvious. There's a 34 degree deviation, so you know, you don't want to do much more than that. But today's really a survival day more than a uh, racing day. Whoever can get around the task Will be, uh, will be a big advantage. There's 
thermal area down here as well, so going over that's always a good idea. Pretty reliable source. Blimey, it looks a bit sparse, sparse once you get to the hills, which is exactly where you don't want to get into trouble. Second turn point, I'm going to turn here, you can see we've run out of clouds, we've only got 40 minutes left, got to get all the way back over the other side of the task. And my speed so far is 71 kilometres an hour and to do the task remaining I've got to do 113 kilometres an hour so there's no way that's going to happen. We're not high above the ground here, I'm just trying to maintain height as much as I can. Turning in sync, it's always a bad idea. Dave just shot past. You all know Dave in the JS1, and uh, he's just ahead there, so I'm gonna try and catch up to him. Which I probably won't do, to be honest. Although, if I get lines of lift like this, that'll help. Just trying to maintain altitude as much as possible still. I'm gliding to what I think is the last turn point. The street I came out on has disappeared, but there were wispy bits, and now it's forming up again. So uh, that's good. We've got to get over over that way, so we're pretty much on track. I almost deviated for those clouds out to the left there, but getting there would have been a bigger gap than going this way, so although they look better once you get there. But this is going all right. I've lost uh, 200 feet coming along here. And now I'm getting under the clouds again, so we're 2,300 feet under glide. So I'm just gonna keep, keep on going along these clouds and uh, if we don't lose much height, we can gain a little. We won't need, might need not, might not need to stop and climb again. I haven't seen many other gliders except for Dave. I'm not sure if that's, good sign or not. Now the problem is I need to go this way not that way. So I think I'll just follow this line of cloud for a bit longer though and then do a left turn because in theory this line should be better than sporadic clouds and less sink. It's going all right so far so this might be a bit of a convergence here. some lift. See if I can just keep going a straight line here. final glide 380 feet under it but there's these big clouds on the way so I've got to stop and climb or climb as I go to get enough height to get back we're pushing into wind a little bit only says three knots right now but I suspect the down low there's ten knots so especially as we get nearer the lake See, we're getting good lift under here. 
I'll go into this next line of cloud as well and I'm expecting to be on glide by the time I get there. Flap setting one has a whine in the back for some reason. Don't know why. Just the, probably my dodgy mylar job. We're 300 feet under glide at present. Should bump up my McCready as a sort of safety glide. So by bumping up my McCready to three, now it says I need 500 feet to get back, which means to make sure I'm on glide, I'll have enough, assuming I fly at a McCready three speed. And the reality is I normally do come in a bit faster. You want to set your McCready for your final glide based on your last climb, because then it will tell you, do I should I keep climbing, or is it better to head off earlier and go slower? Here's some lift. There's not much on the way home, so I'm gonna probably uh, be a little conservative. And... Oh, that didn't last long. I ideally want a bit more than height. There we go. Building, building. Surely under here somewhere there'll be some lift. Here it comes. And then I'll head off that way to the gliding club. 400 feet under glide. Climb up here a bit. Should be getting better and better. There is a cloud on the way over Lake Rotokawa, which is a very handy thermal hotspot on the way home. But hey, we're going nearly the right direction and we're climbing in a straight line. So we'll turn in a moment. 250 under glide now. Gonna start speeding up a bit. I mean, it looks like I'm in glide. There we go, 130 feet under glide. That should be enough. I've got a 500 foot, oh, it might be 700 foot buffer. Be good to know what that is actually. Seven minutes to get back, it's going to be... Ah, oh, my ETE, ETE is five minutes, so I'm going to be a minute under. Uh, so I might as well take my time a little bit. That's annoying being under time, that's just wasted speed. Right, switch to frequency. Is it Centennial one three four four five? This. Centennial traffic, glider, golf Oscar bar, five miles. Well, there's no rush. I'm going to be a minute early, so. Oh, all I had to do was go a bit further into that last turn point. You only got to go a minute and a half further, and then a minute and a half further back. That's something I've got to work on, is my uh, timing of AAT tasks. We've got a three kilometer finish circle, which means it's still saying I've got a minute 25, but I know I'm about to hit the line, so that's another bit of distance that the calculator doesn't take into account. There we go, 85 kilometres an hour. Not exactly a fast task, but we made it round, no dramas, so that's good news. John, thanks for coming and thanks for the tow. You're very welcome. Right.
right, it's the motocross track coming over. And we'll be aiming to land well down the field next to our parking spot. Here's the hump, so we can come down on this side of it. frustrating getting home early all that hard work wasted but anyway very happy with the flight it went well we got back no low points really we stopped and climbed when we needed to so I was very happy with that uh, side of things and it was actually quite enjoyable even though it's low cloud bases and not very fast still a challenge so anyway thanks for watching we'll catch you next time